So now in this problem, we are given the derivative, right? So we have our derivative function, and we're looking for where does it have a relative minimum over the interval 0 to 3. So we know a relative minimum occurs when f prime of x changes from negative to positive because that means my function would be going from decreasing to increasing. Wherever that happens, it's a minimum. So we are going to graph this because we could tell it's calculator active by the answers and see where does my derivative change from negative to positive. And let's go to the next video to do that together.